In this video, we're going to take a look at three different measures of variation. Uh, so what a measure of variation is going to do, is this going to show how spread out a data set is. So one measure of variation that we have, the simplest to compute, is the range. The range, we find this by subtracting the minimum from the maximum data value. That's the maximum value minus the minimum value. That is a minus sign, it's not a dash. A lot of times uh, in everyday speech we might say this something ranges from this value to this value. Here when we talk about the range statistically, we are talking about a number that represents the difference between the largest value and smallest value. Right, so we're taking the maximum value, subtracting the minimum value from that. The next, uh, the units on the range are the same as the units on the data set itself. Next we have the standard deviation. So this is a measure of how spread out the data values are relative to the mean. To find this, uh, we go through a variety of steps. Uh, so I will jot those, uh, we will talk about those steps here, and then I'll jot down a formula that describes all of those steps in a single formula. But the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to find out what is the mean, right? If it, we're going to find out how spread out it is relative to the mean, we need to know what the mean is. We subtract the mean that was found in step one from each of those data values. Next, we are going to square each of the differences found in step two. Then we are going to add all of those squares together. Once we've added up all of those squares, we are going to divide we divide the sum found in step 4 by n minus 1, one less than the size of the sample. So when we deal with a sample, we take one less than the sample size. Or if we're dealing with a population, we divide just by the size of the population, which we'll use a big N to represent size of, size of a population, little n to represent size of a sample. Uh, and then the final thing we're going to do is we take the square root. All right, so that, diff um, that quotient that we found uh, in step five, we're going to take the square root of that value. As far as a formula goes, the formula looks like this. We use sigma for sum. We're taking each of the data values and we are subtracting the mean and squaring that. We're dividing this by n minus 1, so I'll write this formula for a sample, and we take the square root. So that is our formula for a sample standard deviation. Notationally, for a population, we use the Greek letter sigma for a population standard deviation. And we use uh, the letter S for a sample standard deviation. Another measure of variation is the variance. The variance is simply 
the square of the standard deviation. That's a weird way to put it, maybe, because the variance is really that value you have at the end of step five, right? Because step six, you're taking the square root. So if you undo the square root, if you square it, um, then you're just back to step five. So uh, the variance is this value that shows up in the process along the way to find the standard deviation. The units here for a for the variance, it has square units of the original data. Which is kind of weird to think about. If our original data was in centimeters, then the variance would be talking about square centimeters. Uh, if our original data set was in square centimeters, the variance would be in square square centimeters. Uh, centimeter squared squared. If our original units were minutes, then the variance would be in square minutes. Uh, so we might not use variance as much. Uh, statisticians certainly will use it. Uh, but here in this setting, we will be more interested in standard deviation, which has the same units as our original data set. Notationally, sigma squared is a population variance, and s squared is a sample variance. So those are four measures of variation that we are going to be interested in. In our next video, we will look at going through an example of these. We will see you there.